Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus reading for you guys. You had the highest viewership again. So thank you so much for that. I am gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign. Um, so if you find that that's your situation, Cancer, check your other signs and placements and see if those readings may resonate better. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That is not unusual in a general reading. And as always, Cancer, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that's simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Cancer? All right. So, Cancer, you are starting out with the Ace of Swords reversed. You have the Knight of Cups and you have the Moon. So, you're lacking clarity about a love offer here. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a lack of clarity in two arrow, areas here, and it's centered right around this love offer. So you may want to give a love offer to somebody and you haven't yet. You're not sure if you should, or you may be hoping for one and you're not sure if that's going to come in. Let's see who's in your energy. Or you may have received this love offer and you don't know quite what to do with it. Show me who is in Cancer's energy. We'll clarify all of that. Show me who is in Cancer's energy. Maybe have a Scorpio in your energy for some of you. All right, so we have the Death card. We have the Four of Pentacles. And coming out together is the Ten of Wands along with the Three of Cups. So this is somebody that has either been very hurt or um, or they either they've hurt you or they've been very hurt or both. This is somebody that there was an ending with. They want to come back in. They've been holding on to you. And they want to come back in and resolve this the problems that were here. For some of you, there could have been a third party involved in this, but doesn't necessarily have to be. I am seeing, though, that there was an ending with this person. They've been very guarded. They've been holding on to your energy, and they want to now resolve any problems that led to this heartbreak. So let's see the energy between the two of you. The hangman, you may have been waiting for this person. I don't feel like you're talking with this person. You may be waiting to see what they're gonna do. There's a lack of clarity with um, respect to why things may have ended, or it could be a lack of clarity as to what's going on with this person, but I don't feel like you're communicating with them right now. Um, and you know, you're both kind of waiting here. There's a waiting energy between the two of you. Let's see what's affecting this connection. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, things have been moving very slowly. Now, what I'm seeing here is that there is something that is moving. You may not see it in the 3D, but there's a lot more that's going on beyond the 3D. Um, I do see that you do still have some emotions for this person. They are holding on to your energy, and there's something here that is progressing extremely slowly. So let's see your outcome. Tell me the outcome at the end of the week. Show me the outcome. There it is. Yeah, it's an offer. Page of Pentacles. It could be communication. If so, I don't think you're going to see it coming. It's going to be a surprise for you, but I feel like this person's going to reach out to you. Um, I feel like it's going to be something very small, but the intent is to heal this this uh, pain that's between the two of you. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups reversed. This is underlying energy, and what that tells me, Cancer, is it tells me that there was this ending that's here, but it also tells me that there's a new beginning in love that's trying to emerge here. So let's clarify. Spirit wants the Ace of Swords. I feel like a lot of you guys aren't talking with this person. You don't know what's going on with them. 
you have some residual feelings after this ending, but they're really holding on to you, but they're guarded. All right, so they're showing up in your energy here. And this tells me that you would like to resolve the conflict that is between the two of you. Um, and it also tells me that you're holding on to them a little bit too. So you're mirroring each other is what's happening here. Um, I do see a lot of mirroring when it's a very strong spiritual connection. I don't think you're talking with them. I think that you don't realize that they're wanting to resolve things as well. But you're both holding on to each other's energy. Two of, two of coins and justice. Yeah. So you're kind of weighing up the pros and cons of, you know, whether or not you should approach this person. Um, I do feel like you want karmic justice in this situation, though. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. But I feel like, you know, you finally found your balance here. So you're extremely balanced. I'm going to say that for sure. Um, you may be now beginning to, you know, look at yourself and say, okay, well, I still have feelings towards this person. But I do feel that, you know, you kind of have a lot on your plate right now. Um, I do feel like you're kind of bouncing from one thing to the next. Your life is not simple right now, Cancer. It's balanced, but it's not simple. And I think you did a lot of work to get to that balanced place. And I'm also seeing that you're not going to be moving forward with anything if it's if somebody's not approaching you in the correct way. Um, you're asking for justice in this situation. Let's see why the moon is here. Why is the moon here for cancer? We have the six of wands reversed. We have the seven of cups reversed. All right, so, yeah, there's a lot of confusion about whether or not this could even be successful, which is why you're kind of weighing up the pros and cons about whether it's right for you or not, whether it's going to disrupt your peace. I do see that um, you're looking at this. It, it's been a failure. It's failed in the past. You're looking at it like it could be a missed opportunity. You don't quite know. There's a lack of clarity what to do. You don't know what's going on with this person. So I am seeing that the confusion, though, is going to clear up. So there's a lack of clarity that is going to be clearing up when this person comes in to communicate. So let's see their energy. Um, why is the death card here? Page of Cups. Six of so this person um, has taken some time to get their get their energy back in order. They do realize um, either they're expecting an apology from you or they're, they're, they may offer an apology. I have to say, I do see this person being a little bit immature. Either they're younger than you are or they're a little bit more immature than you are because this is somebody who is approaching with page energy. Um, they have found their balance again, which is good. This person could have been giving to more than one person. I'm seeing that in some of you, for some of you. Um, but I do feel like this person is going to reach out to you. They still have feelings and emotions. Unfortunately, they, this person tends to communicate and, and express love in a very immature way. Um, why is the four of pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Because I don't see you reaching out to this person. Um, I, I feel like um, you may be hoping they do, but I don't see you doing that. All right. Eight of Coins and Strength in Reverse. So this person could be working a lot. Um, they may have had some kind of a financial setback for some of you. Um, and so they're working very hard because they're trying to, uh, their money is moving slow and they're trying to, um, build their money back and they will, by the way, but I am seeing that, you know, they want to work on this connection too, but they're, they have that fear. So again, I'm seeing that there is mirroring that's going on here. Um, they fear putting the work into it. They fear their feelings basically. Um, they're looking at all the details of this relationship and why are they still holding on to you? They don't understand why they're still holding on to you. 
this person needs to stop looking at the details of this relationship and start working on themselves because they're coming across here with this very immature energy and I feel like there's work that needs to be done on self. Um, so they may even be using the ending of this connection to avoid doing that, but I can tell you right now, they're, they're rather defensive and that's fear-based. They're looking at all the details of this. They're working very hard on their money as well. Um, and I do see things are moving forward slowly as a result of that. So, but they're moving very, very slow. So let's look at the bottom energy. They're guarded because they're fear-based. And some of them are just afraid of putting the work in which defies logic, but that's what I'm seeing. All right, Nine of Swords, Five of Cups, and the King of Cups. So this person may have been blaming you for this breakup. Um, there's a, a sense here that they could have been telling somebody, you know, stuff about you, that it was all Cancer's fault. You know, Cancer's the one who did this. You know, I don't, I don't know why cancer hurt me so bad, um, but I do feel like they, they're really taking the time to look at it. I can see that in two places, and they've been really depressed. By the way, um, they're holding their feelings back. They actually have very strong feelings for you, and they've been holding those feelings back, somewhat playing the victim. But I, what I'm seeing is that this person is learning lessons from this experience. And um, I am seeing that they're very worried about how to go about resolving the problems, how to go about, you know, settling things with you. Um, there's a lot of sadness. They don't know whether or not there can still be success between the two of you. This person's actually in a lot of pain um, because they're holding their feelings back, because they're fear-based, and because they need to work on themselves. So let's see the energy between the two of you. Now, your energy is a lot more um, balanced, a lot more settled. Um, I do feel like sometimes that this connection, you know, it gets you down a little bit. I'm seeing that is part of the mirroring. And some of you, it might not even be your energy. If you have a very strong spiritual connection with this person, you might be picking up on their energy. All right, Ten of Wands, Six of Swords, and the Queen of Swords reversed. So you do have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. You could also be dealing with another water sign, which would be another Cancer like yourself, or Scorpio, which is very strong, or Pisces. Um, I feel like both of you have tried to move on from this connection, and you know, it's been difficult to do so. You're both kind of still in the wings waiting for the other person. So you're having a difficult time um, moving on. It's been problematic for you. I feel like um, you both would like to move this relationship into a better place, you know, but you, Cancer, I feel like you feel that like there's just too many problems here. It's overwhelming for you. And then you throw your guard up a little bit and that's that's probably what's led to you not speaking with this person. You're very guarded there. You both are. So you feel like there's too many problems to resolving this. Um, for some of you, like I said, this person puts you in competition with others, or it might not have even been another person. It could have been other, you know, like job, because this person does work a lot. It could have been something to do with job. It could have been something to do with, you know, family members, friends, I don't know, but you don't want to be put in competition. I can tell you that. Um, in their energy, what I'm seeing is that this person has tried to cut you out of your, out of their life. Um, I don't feel like they successfully were able to do that. There was an attempt to do that and just move on. And instead, they know that they still have feelings for you. So, be careful when they come forward because they may be coming forward in a bit of a, a caustic manner. They could be a little bit um, sharp with their words, a little cutting. 
because they feel that they've that you've made them wait for all this time. So I'm seeing this energy where they're actually almost a little angry with you. They're also angry that they haven't been able to move on from this connection. I think they thought that, you know, they would just end this, cut you out, move on with their life, and everything would be fine. And maybe they've been able to do that in the past, but I don't feel like they were able to do it with this connection. So this connection is going to come forward, um, like in the current time, what I'm seeing is that you're feeling there's a lot of problems here. Part of you wants to resolve the problems because you're hanging on to this person, but that guarded part of you says, nah, there's just too many problems. I need to move on. And this person over here is angry. There's a lot of anger here, but I feel like part of that anger is at themselves. So... All right, let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is going on. So there's a lot going on individually on each side, but I don't see the two of you communicating since this ending. Five of Pentacles reversed and the Death card reversed. Yeah, so this person, it, th there's something that even if it's not happening on the 3D Cancer, this is moving and look at that. Look at that on the bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups, which is trying to come through. So what's affecting this connection is that underneath all of this, there's a lot going on. I don't even feel that the two of you are communicating with each other right now. There's a lot going on individually with each person. Um, I see that you would like to have a reconciliation with this person. You think about it, you weigh up the pros and cons. I feel like you're kind of waiting for that person to come towards you with a love offer. Um, you want to reconcile, but it everything is moving so slowly. And you're not going to take a reconciliation that's not done correctly either. You don't want any more of the BS that was going on that caused all the problems. And so I do see that there's something that is moving forward with that reconciliation. Because the person in your energy cancer, um, they realize that things aren't over between the two of you. They realize this, and I do think that that kind of scares them a little bit because they can't figure out why in the world they couldn't just cut you out and move forward. They they can't figure it out, and it's because this is a spiritual connection. So I do see them, you know, really examining all of this, really looking at it, but honestly, they need to start working on their own, you know, their own uh, issues, basically, because... That's where this, this is kind of centered is that there's something here that they need to be working on, okay? Um, I do see them being more willing to put the work in. They're still holding on to your energy here, and there is progress that's happening here very slowly, very slowly. So let's look at your outcome. Spirit, show me the outcome for cancer. I mean, how frustrating is this energy? Because, I mean, I feel like you're pretty balanced here, Cancer, but this person is just, they're struggling on some level. Some of them are actually depressed. But you got to remember, especially in a spiritual connection, it's generally during the times apart that each individual grows. But you have to be willing to grow. You have to want to grow. And if this person is you know, dragging their feet to get there, well, you're going to have to let spirit deal with them. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. We have the Knight of Pentacles again, and there's the Fool in reverse. So, <laughs> so there, things are still going to be moving slowly. I do feel that this person is going to reach out. They're going to contact you. It might be very slight, very small, this Ace of Pentacles is stability trying to come in, a new beginning, stability. Um, keep in mind, too, this person could be having some financial problems. I did see that. And your money might not be coming in as quickly as you want it to, um, you know, this week. So be careful with that. But I am seeing that, you know, this, when they reach out to you, it's going to provide some kind of clarity to you, something that you didn't understand that has affected this connection that that caused it to be unsuccessful there's going to be something in what they say that is going to be like a tiny little little gift 
and that that gift is going to give you a greater understanding okay um i am seeing that things are moving forward i do see it moving very slowly but i do also see you having an understanding of that and it's going to come about because of something that has been said now in their energy they are very fearful of this new beginning um it's like it's like spirit is pulling them towards it and they're and they're just digging in their heels or dragging their feet here they would much rather say that things didn't work out because cancer didn't do what they were supposed to do and they hurt hurt them or that cancer hurt them and you know they tried it yeah that's what they'd like to say but that's not how i'm seeing this and that's not the reality i do feel that you know, they've been very sad. They've been sad, but they're learning lessons from this, this experience. Um, I do feel like they have a lot of anxiety about reaching out to you. I feel like they're very worried about that. Um, I do also feel like they want a new beginning here too, but they don't know if you'll accept them back. They want to resolve the problems that are here, but it's almost like this person lacks the emotional maturity to actually, you know, do this properly. Um, so be careful with that. But look here at the bottom of the deck. It's that Knight of Cups that you've been waiting for. Yeah. And where is it going? It's going towards a, a new beginning in love. So things are moving along here, Cancer. They're just moving really slow. And... You know, I can understand why you would you would doubt this whole thing. So, all right. So, I'm going to pull an oracle card, and we'll see if there's any messages that come from that. Spirit, I'm pulling for the sign of cancer. There we go. Now, this deck does read reversals, so I'm going to read the reversal on this. You have Gentle Gardener. It's number two. Twos are about couples, by the way. So, now in the reverse, it says, Do you harbor resentments? How often do you reinforce negativity by affirming lack and limitation? Every time you send out a desire for something but secretly harbor a belief that you are undeserving of it, you plant weeds in the field of your dreams. When the gentle gardener appears in the reverse position, she reminds you to be aware of any negative thoughts or selfish motives. She encourages you to step back and pay close attention to what thought seeds you send out into the world. Weeds choke the life out of your beautiful garden. No need to fret, however, because once you recognize in this, you can always remove a bad seed and replace it with a healthy one. Forgiveness is your most powerful restorative tool. So guys, it all starts with you though. You have to feel deserving of this love. You have to continue to, you know, get your balance and keep your balance. And you have to feel deserving for this love. And when you find yourself focusing on negativity or any kind of negative thought, you, you need to be aware of it and replace it with a positive thought. You know, because I'm going to tell you what is for you will never miss you. It's just sometimes we have a hard time discerning what is for us. So, you know, trust that spirit is sending you what is for you. All right. So I hope this has been helpful. And if you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.